We hear reports around the globe of the many souls that suffer depression because of overwhelming stress. With wars, poverty, and violence going on around us, is it any wonder that depression is an issue? We are told that mental illnesses occur because of our genes, our upbringing, our personality, our temperament, our lifestyle, and we can do nothing about them. Stress or no stress, we are told, if we have all these factors loaded in our personal history, we are prone to have a mental illness. Naturally, this brings up a sense of low self-esteem and helplessness in the person who is suffering from the illness. We are then made to believe that medications are man-made answers to mental illness, which is a curse of nature. Statistics have proven that depression links to increased heart diseases. Depression can affect your body in several different ways. It can cause a feeling of emptiness or sadness and guilt. A person suffering from depression might have trouble with their memory part of the brain and are unable to make decisions. The most significant cause of insomnia is depression, which keeps you awake at night, damaging your brain and health. Depression leads to constriction of blood vessels when constricted. A lesser amount of blood flows through them, which leads to more pressure on the heart. Ultimately, it causes cardiovascular diseases. The nervous system of a depressed person is affected in a way that their pain sensitivity is highly increased. Headaches and other aches and pains may affect a person with depression, and the worst part is that these pains aren't improved with medications. When someone is depressed, their weight fluctuates. They're either obese or lose a lot of weight. They feel fatigued all the time, and their energy is always low. Their immune system is weakened, and the ability to fight infections and diseases is lowered. Their sexual life is highly affected. Being depressed, they usually lack interest in activities that others enjoy. The fatal mistake that doctors make is over-medicating the patient, which not only suppress the problem for a short term, but it contributes to medical issues. The result, the problem is still there. After careful research, it was shown that antidepressant drugs might cause more harm to patients. People who overuse antidepressants are at a higher risk of heart attacks. The whole area of mental illness is about losing a sense of freedom. When we find ourselves bound to emotional issues of our life that we cannot rid ourselves of, we lose our freedom of thinking. This creates stress in our mind and our body bears the brunt of it. This loss of freedom brings up a sense of fear or a sense of helplessness. Both feelings bring up a sense of insecurity. People lose confidence in their own worth. Self-esteem becomes low. With a lack of confidence and low self-esteem comes poor decision-making. When a mentally ill person goes to seek help, confidence, self-esteem, and sense of freedom are already lost. To improve their quality of life, the person needs to take responsibility for their own well-being. We live in a free society. Stay alert to your mental health and avoid floundering, as this contributes to depression. There are solutions to any problems that will work for you. Get out of the house and socialize. Take up a sport that you may enjoy. Read a damn good book or write one yourself. Writing is a gift, an art, and a contribution to freedom of speech. Let the words flow. Depression can kill only if you let it.